I got my start in water features just after 2000. I've been cutting grass since 1994 and uh, went to mom's house and she had all these cool boulders and stuff in the front yard and I looked at them and I started having this vision of you know what I could do and how I could get the water running back down to the lake and I just I just started seeing it. And I get this waterfall going and I'm like that's pretty darn cool man it was awesome and mom loved it and so I'm like more of this I gotta have more of this you know it's so much more fun than cutting grass and digging holes and sticking plants in them and then it was more ponds and less grass and then it was all right we're not gonna cut grass anymore grass cutting sucks we're through with that we just want to build ponds it's the most fun thing we do. I was a union heavy equipment operator and I started building water features on the side back in the late 90s and I just I love the artistic outlet of being able to move rocks and see how it changed water and what I wasn't expecting was the effect it was going to have on people. You're installing a, a living breathing thing in their backyard like there's water moving there's birds that are there there's you know the fish are there in the ponds and their plants are constantly changing the look of the water feature so it's ever evolving and they can't believe that they now have this this thing in their backyard that's bringing them joy and making them use their space differently than they than they ever have or they ever imagined they would so we started our company in 2002 my wife and I and we were a traditional landscape construction company, installing patios, decks, gardens, and I loved water. So we, I would always put it into my designs. At first, you know, people, some people would shy away from it, some people really loved it, but I noticed that the people who did put it in were in love with their landscape. To me, that's way more rewarding than just putting a patio in. So now, we won't even do a job unless we have a water feature in it. Because I know that uh, my customer is going to get so much more out of their project that they're investing money into. I started building ponds in, well, my first pond I built in 1999 for my mom when my dad passed away. Uh, gave her a nice little healing garden and uh, things have just kind of exploded from there. I tend to do a little bit more detail uh, water features than, than most other contractors, um, sometimes to a hindrance uh, as far as financially goes, but um, it's a passion that I have. Um, my customers say that uh, I've got rocks in my head and water in my veins and it's just something that comes naturally. Story of Nature's Recreations starts when I'm 10 years old, cutting grass in my parents' neighborhood, just uh, trying to make some money. Once I got out of the mowing side of things, I really wanted to be the pond guy in St. Louis. My goal was to emulate a lot of the aquascape mentalities and, and really become an artist in my craft. For us, it's the, the friendship and the bond that we create but it's also the ecology of things. We just love doing this. I'm an Eagle Scout. I grew up hiking and camping in the woods and water has always been something I've been drawn to. In 2011, uh, we were awarded the uh, Aquascape Water Feature Artist of the Year Award out of a company that sells to 67,000 people to be chosen as the Water Feature Artist of the Year, the initial Water Feature Artist of the Year, first one. What an honor. Uh, still gives me goosebumps thinking about it. It was a very humbling experience and something I, uh, I hold dear to my heart. So a very proud moment for us was when we received the Aquascape Artist of the Year Award in 2015. Um, this was a, a very good thing for us because, you know, there's uh, so many great contractors throughout the world and they pick one to be the Artist of the Year. And we, we were fortunate enough to get that award in 2015 and uh, it's a very good moment for us and it means a lot to us as a company. I think most people get into this because they love the art of moving rocks and seeing water come in between them and creating something that's going to be a, a cool tapestry in someone's backyard. So I think that's where this all starts is the artistry of it. And being named Artist of the Year for the whole country is such an honor because people are recognizing that you really hone your craft and when you're recognized like that in front of your peers it's it's quite an honor it's very humbling too a lot of it for me was just getting it in my own head that I really deserved to win that award and that my projects were outstanding enough that I had finally become one of those artists that I aspired to be when I was sitting in the front row looking at other people's work thinking man I would love to build water features like that I would love to be on that scale and it took a while to soak in finally that, yeah, I, I did that. I've been there, new, new goal, new place, new, let's do something else now. 
my background was art. I love to draw. I love that um, you know side of the industry, and I just um, set myself out to be the best. You know, whether it was in St. Louis or whether it was in you know the United States, our, our goal was to try and achieve the highest level of, of artistry that we could. It was a very fulfilling, satisfying moment that I had in my career and, uh, and it was just probably one of, the, one of the highlights that we've had in a number of years. When I'm asked to design somebody's dream backyard, I like to create different areas of interest throughout the backyard and at different levels. What does a customer really want from us? What, what kind of spaces do they want? Do they want a fire pit? Do they want to be able to eat out here? Do they entertain a lot? Do they have a large family? All these different things. And then we, we figure a way that we can make it so they have separate areas for each of these different aspects and it all ties into the water feature that we install for them. So from every different area they can enjoy the water feature in a different way. Our process starts with questions. We ask lots of questions. So I want to know if it's a new installation, like how do you plan on using this space? How's it going to fit into the rest of your backyard plans? Are you going to be able to see it from multiple vantage points, like out your kitchen window when you're doing dishes? Are you looking at your water feature? Are you seeing it from your, your dining room table? And really get a feel for how it's going to incorporate into their life, not just stick it out in the backyard and it's something you have to walk to, which you know not a lot of people are going to do. You want to bring it into your whole entertaining space so it makes sense. We try to look at the landscape as a holistic thing now. We used to just try to sell the pond. And our goal when we're trying to design a feature in somebody's space is to try to incorporate every element of the landscape into that and also bring some of the elements of the pond outside by you know, adding some accent boulders so that it makes it look like it's believable. We get to take some mundane space that somebody has that really means nothing to them and we get to turn it into their favorite spot to be. It's a developing relationship right from the beginning. They watch how much love and energy we put into placing each rock just the way we want it and situating every single speck just the way it needs to be to make it perfect. And they appreciate that from the beginning to the end. And then it's become a friendship at that point. And we hang out and we, you know, we break bread together and we drink beer together and you know, we go share their space with them and it's always a joy to go back and see that they love it just as much as we knew they would and they spend more time out there than we expected. It's just, it's awesome. That's what makes it awesome. The more appreciative they are of the work that we provide for them, that's the most rewarding thing for us as a company. Again, it's not about money for us entirely. It really is about how much our customer loves what we've done for them and the emotions that they show us when after we're finished a job. I mean, that is the most rewarding thing. I did landscaping for several years and I never get a call from a customer saying that they're sitting on their patio staring at their shrubs. And if I did, I'd always be like, oh, I think I might need to run away from this client. But you get that with, with pond people. You know, they just fall in love with what we do. And I've created a bond and friendship with all of my clients. I don't ever have that same relationship, or I didn't, with landscape customers. That electric charge that turns the pump on seems to um, transfer over to people's emotions and their lack of understanding of actually what they're getting. When they see the process of their water feature being built in their backyard, and uh, I hand that cord over to the homeowner and say, here, you plug it in, and uh, I've had numerous customers cry and you know just overwhelmed with joy and neighbors migrating to their house and everybody enjoying in that water feature it's uh, it's a really good feeling it's an ever-evolving thing you know it's it's an addiction I think like I sit in my own backyard and I look at my pond and I'm like and I got to change something because I'm just so in love with it and you're just kind of trying to make things happen back there that uh, you know it's exciting what we're doing is we're creating this magical space in somebody's yard where all their great things happen. It's where they get together and it's, it's where they sit and have dinner, it's where they drink wine with their friends. You know, we're bringing the magic. The best compliment we ever get from customers is saying that they think that this looks like it's been there forever. You know, we don't build volcanoes in people's yards. We, we set large boulders that have purpose and, and really plan each and every, you know, step of that process so that it, it appears like it has, has always been there. Every yard is different, every rock is different, so putting the whole thing together and, and building them a package that they can you know, live with is, uh, is part of the fun part. I'm living this, this lifestyle, and I call it a lifestyle because it's not just I walk out in the backyard and I'm, I'm putting chemicals in the pool and using it once in a while. I'm, I'm out here 
and I'm surrounded by the sound of water. We're just in a different place. You know, you can't believe we're in a suburban backyard when we're sitting back here. I know how much we as a family enjoy our pond. You know, watching it change over the years, it's the most enjoyable thing about my house. So I, I just want to give that to other people. I, I know how much fun it is to have a pond in your backyard. Deep down, what I know is I'm going to make you the most awesome space you have. I mean, my goal is to make it where you don't want to go in your house anymore. You want to stay outside. I want to change your life. 